After facing the single biggest hurricane catastrophe in U.S. history, Governor Ricardo Rosselló called for urgent U.S. aid. Maria destroyed the already fragile power grid and left the island in darkness. The island was left in total devastation with the need for supplies and clean water. Less than 24 hours after Maria passing, Rosselló called New York Governor Andrew Cuomo for recovery efforts. Within days, the governor said the Trump administration was complying a quick and timely matter to the island's petition. Already in bankruptcy, a week later, Rosselló asked the Treasury and Federal Reserve for loans to rebuild. Nearly a year after Maria, Governor Ricardo Rosselló sat down with Grace King to talk about the island's current status in recovery. I sat down with Governor Ricardo Rosselló and started off by asking how much responsibility he takes for the ongoing issues the island is facing after Hurricane Maria. Well, I, I am the governor. I, I assume uh, responsibility uh, and, and it, it's my job uh, to make sure that that all uh, all of the needs of the people of Puerto Rico are met. It's my job and, and that's why I am uh, fully committed that notwithstanding all of the obstacles and the challenges uh, to make this rebuild one that is uh, that, that really puts Puerto Rico, uh, you know, in a, in a very positive position. How are the recovery efforts going? It's been a long recovery. Uh, ever since the storm came, there were three parallel tracks that I was uh, considering working through. First one was the immediate uh, emergency response, of course, uh, making sure people were safe, had food, uh, could survive the, the roughest part of the storm. The second part has been the recovery. Of course, schools are working and, and, and so forth. Business uh, is, is back uh, on its feet. Um, uh, tourism is, is even higher than, than it was before the storm. Uh, so now the third track is the rebuild, which is the one we, we should be getting started on now. And, and that's the one uh, you know, I'm, I'm really optimistic about. How confident are you that the changes you make will be sufficient in case another storm like Maria were to hit? Well, they have to be, right? And, and that's why we wanted, wanted to be a blank canvas. You know, whether it's this year or, or next year or in five years or 10 years, another storm is likely to hit. Uh, so we, we better be very resilient about it. And uh, what we're doing is we're incorporating a, the concept of innovation, a uh, broad concept of innovation, across the board in everything. We were really not prepared for a Category 5 or Category 4 hurricanes, uh, much, much more a Category um, 1 or 2 uh, uh, hurricane. So uh, our, our effort right now is to plan for uh, what we conceive as the worst case scenario so that we can respond uh, in kind. So I am confident we'll get significantly much better and we'll be prepared for, for this level. Uh, uh, but again, hopefully uh, weather, weather patterns don't get much, much worse. We've been to Jabacoa, Utuado, Trujillo Alto, Vega Baja, among other places, and we've seen people who are still suffering and don't have basic necessities. What's your message to them? It's very frustrating for me. I mean, we've been, we've been trying to reach everybody. Uh, we've been bogged down by inexplicable uh, bureaucracy uh, in, in, some, in some fronts uh, on the federal level. And, uh, you know, bureaucracy knows no pain. Uh, so what we're, what I'm committed in doing and what we work uh, 24 hours a day on doing is trying to identify all of the folks that are, that are still on, on dire need. You know, uh, as I mentioned, there are some things that are, uh, you know, uh, almost completely back to normal or even better uh, than normal now. But there are some other uh, things that are, are still significantly delayed, such as rooftops. Uh, we still have about 60,000 people uh, that don't have uh, rooftops, and um, that's just no, no way to live. What has this experience and process taught you about the people living on the island? There's been many challenges, but, but the thing that I'm proudest of is the resolve and, and resiliency and, and heart of the people of Puerto Rico. Business owners in Old San Juan keep their faith in tourism. Things have not been the same since Hurricane Maria. Many people come here because love the people, love the island, love our culture, love the everything. We can do better. Plus, the stray animal issue in the island has only worsened since Hurricane Maria. 